Hi guys, welcome to this full review of this OKP K3 robot vacuum cleaner with mopping clothes. So I got this yesterday. I have assembled it, I've connected it to the app and I've been using a full charge today and this is my experience what I have found so far. So this is an entry level uh, robot vacuum cleaner, this is not a high price device, it doesn't have like a laser uh, measurement thing, it has just uh, infrared at the front, pumping sensor of course and a couple of brushes and uh, it, it's a rather simple thing and it comes with most of the things which you really need uh, for automatic cleaning. So if you want to start uh, with these things, uh, maybe this could, could be a good idea instead of spending $500 on a robot cleaner and then finding out that your home is not suitable for such a things. I mean, such robot cleaner can only work in places which are pretty clean, are pretty flat, do not have crazy stuff around, uh, not too many wires, not too many sensitive things. So, and it, it's not a big difference between such a thing and, and the high price device. Uh, also high price devices, they have also their problems. I can tell you, I've already tested this. You can find this on my channel. So let's start from the beginning. What we get here is the vacuum cleaner with the charging station. We have to remove the protecting films around and then install the side brushes. I'm going to show you that and place it on the docking station, download the app and connect it. And this has been actually pretty good. Here we have the app. But you have to make sure that you are also connected with your phone on the same 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network which you want to use to connect also this robot cleaner. After that you can connect to any wireless network. You can even access it from remote like using 2G, 3G, 4G. It's no problem but while connecting it you have to be on the same 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi but also combined 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network will work. I have tried this also but 2.4 is needed. What's really important here in the app, there's a small flow here, there's a page where you have to select the Wi-Fi system and there's no mandatory password required of course. Don't forget to specify the Wi-Fi uh, password, the router password, otherwise it won't be able to connect. That was the problem in my case. And there's also an alternate way to connect through an access point. So definitely it was no problem. So here is what we get. We have this thing, we have a nice flap here on top. And this is the container and this is the result of my first cleaning. And you can see it has been picking up quite some dirt and not only small things but also larger things. And here in the back we have the filter which you can see it's a two stage filter. It's nothing too crazy of course simple thing but very effective. It's enough and it's easy to clean. You just open the thing and then yeah I'm not going to do that. But you can see it has been picking up a lot of stuff so it looks like it's pretty effective that's the good thing if you just want to know i leave it outside uh, but it has actually a flap here built in i don't know where it is yeah it's down here it has a flap so usually you shouldn't lose too much dirt when you're taking it out but i haven't been uh, careful enough you can see i already messed up a little bit here so let's close and turn it around so here's the thing underneath and the big uh, difference to some high price devices we can see it's no there's no center brush here so with a lot of these vacuums we have a center brush which is actually picking up most of the dirt. We, here we don't have it. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Yeah, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It can have a lot of advantages as well if you don't have a center brush because the center brush is one of the most sensitive parts. That's the area where most of the stuff gets entangled and then also can be destroyed. I had already some jewelry destroyed and other stuff and then also the vacuum gets destroyed. This is a more simple device but there is less damage possible to the robot cleaner and less damage to the stuff which you have in your home. So here we can see the side brushes. It has two side brushes which is really good so you can uh, go along uh, on the edges from the left side and also from the right side. I have seen some vacuum cleaners 
in this price area which has only one side brush of course this is somehow also working but this is much more efficient this is what you want to have and you can see of course it has been picking up some hair i mean you can remove it like this but you can also remove it again so i pick it out so it's uh, much easier if you remove it maybe every week or so and then remove the stuff which doesn't belong to the side brush and then just push it back or this thing here you have to make sure that you really push in a heart that it's sitting tight the motors here like the wheels are very strong uh, definitely no complaints regarding that has also some sensors underneath there is not much to explain from underneath you can see some sensors here maybe more sensors here on the side so it shouldn't fall down stairs or so but of course it doesn't have the amount of sensors which a high price device has also here in the front when we turn it on uh, yeah of course usually you shouldn't do that yeah it's now also complaining about that so i turn it off again so there are some sensors here built in in this area okay to just turn it off here is this button that's the uh, app here there's not much to say i mean in general we have also the remote control which is good it's very useful to control it you can control it like with a remote control car or so move it around and then put it to some areas where you need some spot cleaning here spot cleaning edge cleaning and here's some programmed cleaning and here's just the normal smart cleaning and then we have a button here to uh, bring it back it should automatically go back to the charging station with hitting this uh, button here but usually it's not working here we can regulate the vacuum power we can uh, have it on standard which is already pretty good i had it the whole time on standard for this thing here if you have areas like on, on a carpet where you want to increase the suction you can do that here yeah that's also maybe one thing uh, regarding the brush here on the knees of course it doesn't do a lot for carpets and i mean in general these robot vacuum cleaners are not the best thing for large carpet areas but it has been also doing a good job on small rugs with a lot of uh, robot vacuum cleaners there are big time problems with small rugs especially in the bathrooms in a lot of cases my higher price devices have been stuck and uh, especially with the brush here it has tried to pick up this uh, rocks and then got jammed and uh, almost every time so here much better it has been moving around the rocks a little bit and creating some waves but uh, in general it got stuck not so often what's also good with this size here i mean it's not a very high thing i mean it's not the thinnest thing which i have seen but it's pretty low but definitely not the highest one and it has a smaller diameter and what i noticed that it has been accessing many areas which my higher price devices have not been able to access like beside a toilet wall or in in the office uh, underneath a chair also underneath the dining table because usually the chairs are blocking this area and because it's a little bit smaller it has been accessing these areas easily but of course again regarding the sensors yeah it has i mean it has this pumping sensor it has infrared sensors but it doesn't detect anything uh, evenly there are some objects which it is detecting really good so it doesn't really bump hard into that but for some other items it seems to have uh, like a, a hard time to detect especially like with glass vases or so and it has been bumping into them a little bit harder i mean it hasn't done any damage at all i have to tell you i have been running this for an hour and it has not been doing uh, any damage but of course it was pretty close what i highly recommend when you're doing this the first time especially when you're doing this uh, for the first time around the edges just monitor it the whole way around to make sure it's not uh, destroying or damaging anything i mean this is the case with any kind of robots even when you're uh, buying higher price devices they have all their problems and regarding the height again i mean uh, for me it's really working good it doesn't go underneath some crazy spots like my furniture in the living room uh, that's a good thing because it has like a, some bump and usually these robot vi vacuums go underneath and then they are stuck so it's a, sometimes also a good thing when they are not too low uh, sometimes i even prefer really higher 
uh, vacuum clean. So for me, it has been working good. It has been still able to access uh, below office chairs and like bathroom furniture and so on. I will say for me, it has been working really good, but you have to find out what's perfect for you. Take the measurement and then check your furniture and make sure that it's fitting for your uh, furniture. There's no vacuum around which uh, fits perfectly for all the rooms and for all the homes. It did also a really good job on wires, like electric wires. I mean, the side brushes are always a little bit at risk with some wires, but I have some open wires, like 110 volts, many of them. It didn't have uh, any problem. I have also some Ethernet cables, didn't have any problem. But of course, it could always be a problem. But most of the problem gets when you have like this center brush here, when it uh, picks up some of these wires here in the center brush. But here we don't have a center brush. Brush. This can be also a good option here to make sure that it doesn't do any crazy thing when we don't have a center brush. Then maybe back to the app. Yeah, the app is, is a simple one. It doesn't always create a map. Unfortunately, when it stopped, it deleted the uh, map. Last time when I started it with this mode, I think it was the programming mode and then it started and it created an like a map of the living room and I thought okay that's nice maybe we can do something with that no it looks like it just was using it during the one cleaning and then finished and deleted the map so there are no area cleanings which you can do from the app there are no barriers which you can sign into this map or so there's nothing like that and it also doesn't come like with some kind of magnetic barriers or so you would have to make your own barrier if you have some areas uh, where it shouldn't go What's maybe also important for you to know that it's a rather quiet robot vacuum cleaner, at least the most quiet which I've ever had. I have tested already many of them. All of them have been producing uh, more noise and it's not even me. Also, uh, the first thing which uh, my children have been noticing when my son came out of the room uh, this morning and saw the vacuum cleaner was telling me, oh, this one is much more quiet than the older one. And uh, yeah, okay, that was confirmation enough. It's, it's definitely much more quiet. First I was a little bit worried because of no map and no laser sensor. I thought yeah, maybe it would get stuck underneath like beds, other furniture or like office chair and it has been doing sometimes two or three cycles and I thought okay it's in an endless loop I have to help but I let it and after maybe one or two minutes it got out it went into uh, into another cycle the other way around and it finished the whole thing. So it has been doing the whole edge cleaning of my home with the, the living room, two bathrooms and uh, one bedroom in about 20 minutes, which is a really good thing. And it's the first robot vacuum cleaner which has managed to do this without interruption, uh, which didn't get stuck or entangled in, in wires. So it did actually do a, a pretty good job on that. And here we have the result from the mopping cleaning after 20 minutes and you can see the difference that's the original one the new one and that's the one which i've been using you can see how this works it has this velcro strap and so when we go a little bit closer you can see that even better here on the right side we have the dirty one after 20 minutes you can see it has quite some effect of course it's not the same thing as you would do it uh, manually with a large bucket or so, but it can definitely give some extra cleaning with just with this wet towel. So we don't have a large water tank here. It's just this uh, base plate which we put here on the knees and then add uh, this cleaning towel. I mean, of course, I would uh, recommend to make it wet first and then we apply it and put it flat make sure that it has quite some water in it but not too much but it has been working good but again it's not a tank which has a spray nozzle or so which lasts uh, longer but uh, yeah after about 10 or 20 minutes you'd have to rinse this anyway i would say so overall uh, i would say what we get is really really nice really nice package what i also love this is my first robot vacuum cleaner which we can clean from the top we don't have to turn it around like with most of the other vacuum cleaners and then you're dropping a lot of the dirt already 
uh, the cleaning mechanism is much easier so quite some advantages and even for a very low price so I can give you full recommendation on that and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about your things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time